it is Thursday sometime in August. I don't actually know the date. I could very easily look it up, um, but I don't feel like it. So, um, we are going backpacking this weekend. Um, we're gonna go to Gwilym Lakes and it's it'll take us about five hours to get there. Um, and then we're planning on going three days and then we've packed enough food and everything to go a fourth day if we want to, um, but that is the plan. Um, so I've started packing up our stuff. All the food we need. Good morning. It is bright and early. Um, the day we are leaving. Well, it's not that early. It's only seven, but it's early for me. Um, so we just had breakfast and we're getting ready to leave. Okay, hey, here we go. Okay. So we've made it to the first uh, little lake. So it's like the first campground, there's three campgrounds. We're staying at the third and furthest. Um, so we still have a ways, this is about uh, a third of the way. But uh, we're just gonna stop and have some lunch. We've just stopped for a, a small break. We did a lot of descending, some steep downhill, and now we have to go back up. I'd say we're like three quarters of the way there. We are so close. We can see, like, it's just, just up this rock face. It's so close, we're so tired. But trying to go fast because there's some big angry looking clouds over behind us. So we should set up our tent as fast as we can once we get there, um, so that we have shelter, and so we're not putting it up in the rain. 10, we made it. <laughs> How do you feel, mom? Happy to be here. Oh my God, this is absolutely insane. We literally just finished like securing the tent and it started raining. So we've got all of our stuff in and we're in the tent. So, I mean, it couldn't have been better timing. We made it just in time. The rain has just stopped, which has given us an opportunity uh, to make some supper. harder this time. It's like hail almost. No, maybe not. But it's a lot harder. We're waiting for the rain to stop. Then we're gonna go for a little walk.
just found why we kept seeing the squirrel. It's because mm -hmm. there's a little, there's a little thing here. We're packing up our stuff um, for a little day hike. I've put some uh, some snow in my hat because there's a big snow patch here. And now we're just kind of scrambling up these rocks. another peak and then just stay on the ridge for as long as we want. Our tent is right there at the bottom and our we were we were before we were standing at the top of that little peak. And so now we've climbed kind of down here, and then we've climbed all the way up to where we are. And now we're headed to the top. So we've come to this little spot, um, and like there's a little bit of a drop, so we don't know how we can get there. We're going to see if we can maybe go around. We'll see. Um, but yeah. So it's like looking like um, it's, we'll have to go the ways down uh, to if we want to continue. So we'll go up to the pass there and then we'll reassess from there if it's too windy. come back down this way or maybe we can pick up our way down the other way down this way and make it look back to the campsite so kind of go like over here and then go back So there's a cliff, um, like right here, that runs all the way along. So we think if we should be able to kind of go up higher and then kind of come down. And then our plan is to go across kind of by these lakes. And then there's a trail that goes kind of like this into our camp down there. And so we're gonna, from here, I'm not exactly sure where, but we're gonna take a trail somewhere. And then we're gonna try and get back to camp. That is the plan. Mom just got terrified. She almost stepped on this tiny little bird. So these here, these are those the cliffs. Um, and now we're making our way down this. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is like, this is super steep. That's cool. 
cool. This is a cave. This is all cave. top up there and we come down and now we're at this beautiful flat meadow the lake is just around there just sitting here and we we knew that there was like these little uh, ground squirrels like fighting or whatever going around our tent and then we heard like yeah like plastic wrestling and so like it sounded like like if you were to like scrunch up plastic or something like that like a plastic bag or, or something and so mom's like huh are they stealing our, fo our food and it's like I don't know so I went out to go see and I, I just kind of went like went around where I thought I would find uh, a little ground squirrel, and I did. I saw it, and it was eating one of our granola bars. And so I ran up, ran up at it like very aggressively, as if I was gonna like stomp on it or something. I don't know. And so it went like quickly into like a little hole, and so I grabbed the granola bar that it had started eating. And there was a hole like in into the granola bar. So I'm like, oh no. And so mom said like, well, dad has food in his bag. And so I went and looked into dad's bag and there was the zipper was like that much open, just enough for the, like the bag um, that had the granola bar in it. It was all chewed up as well as all the other stuff. Um, there was still some, like, sal salvageable other stuff in it. But, like, the whole bag was chewed up, and... So, I guess we learned our lesson that we have to be careful of leaving our food around. And even during the day for just a few minutes. Yeah, even, even if we're in the tent, like, right beside it. Um, yeah. So, I went, I... I, we took out all the food from all of our bags and I went and brought it to the bear cache where no little creature can get into it. Um, I didn't film because I have really low battery, but we went and had supper. Um, and then, uh, and then I've been begging mom and dad to go on a little walk to one of the islands. There's like an island in, in the lake so we could like there was a bunch of rocks that people had placed there or whatever so we didn't like we we weren't in the water we could just like hop on these little rocks to go to the island um so we checked that out but it was like it was nice but it was it's super buggy so we're back in the tent mm. we're just packing up our stuff right now um because we're gonna head out this morning so yeah trying to just distribute the weight evenly and back it all up just made it back to the car we've been hiking for uh two hours and 37 uh, 38 minutes so uh, it feels so good to be back my feet were hurting so bad but uh It'll feel so nice to go into the Slow Can River. We're gonna go for a little swim. And uh, yeah, 